Tracking coronavirus tonight since the outbreak of the pandemic, scammers have updated their sales pitches to include COVID-19 twists. Tonight, WATE 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare is here in the studio with us with details of a new report released by the Federal Trade Commission and the Better Business Bureau. Well, Lori, the report shows that older people are the age group most targeted by scammers. New information from the FTC and the BBB, it shows that nearly half of those scams are over 65. Additionally, 80% of the money lost to those seniors come from sweepstakes, lottery, and prize schemes. And more recently, hoaxes related to the pandemic are catching a lot of older people off guard. From accessing the president's taxes. The new government report shows retirees like Jerry Adams are most vulnerable to being scammed. Last month, it reported how Jerry lost money when a con artist called claiming he was with Mr. Adams' satellite service. Jerry said the guy on the phone claimed the company was changing satellites that would improve his reception. But first, Jerry would have to pay a $199 fee to upgrade the reception. He believed it. I told him, I said, I don't, I don't, I don't have one, uh, $199. Well, we hate to tell you this, but you could lose your picture in 24 hours. I'm going, oh, God. So, like a fool, I got out the visa. Typically, Older people have more money than younger people, and so that's why there's a target. The headline to the FTC and BBB report just released says 80% of money lost to scammers are people over 65. I said, no check, cash only. So they said, we'll send you a cashier's check. In February, we reported Joan Lackey was targeted by scammers twice. Good for her, she didn't fall for the con the second time. You can't win a prize or a lottery or sweepstakes unless you buy a ticket or buy, you know, and enter to win. You have to enter to win. So nobody's going to call you out of the clear blue and, and award you a prize when you haven't bought a ticket. Now scammers are updating their sales pitches to include what, a, a COVID-19 twist to their schemes? They are, and typically those COVID twists are, you know, we'll do security for delivery. We'll make this uh, a safe and secure way to get your money. There may be some delays involved. Listen to the con artist making this call. Congratulations. We here at Publishers Clearinghouse are proud to inform you of your second place winnings in our sweepstakes competitions. They're not going to call you, are they? They're not going to call you. They're going to show up at your doorstep. Yet people will hear this and they'll think that they won. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds fairly believable. Uh, but if you call that number, they're going to start asking you. Eventually, they're going to start asking you for personal information. Tips for detecting scams include no one from court or a law officer will ask you for money over the phone to pay a fine. Publishers Clearinghouse does conduct sweepstakes but won't call you in advance of your winning. And if you have not entered a sweepstakes, you are not a winner. If you've got questions or, or feel uh, uneasy about it, talk to somebody you trust or, or talk to your bank. I mean, just get somebody else involved in the conversation. Now, federal law enforcement says many of these scam calls come from the islands, mainly Jamaica. While it's difficult to catch them and make arrests, the Department of Justice says its annual elder fraud sweep has netted 400 accused scammers in the last year. Remember, it's important to call either the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, your local sheriff or police department if you have been scammed. Lori. All right, Don, thank you so much. And if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddare at wate.com or call his Six on Your Side hotline. The number is right there, 865-633-5974.